everybody. This is episode 16 of our Let's Play and Chill walkthrough with Earthbound. And I'm your host, Bubba. Um, we're here with Jeff now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get his walkthrough, probably. We'll get it done. Probably not on this episode, but it'll. we'll get pretty far enough to where... Um, we'll get it far enough. So, anyway... So, um, Jeff is another one of our little friends, um, that we've been trying to seek after. So, it's pretty cool. We're about to get another, uh, friend. He's an inventor. So, his dad is, like, a scientist. Uh, I don't think he ever met his dad or something like that. He never really met his father. Uh, it's been a minute since I've done this playthrough. There's, like, like his part so there's probably quite a few things I'm gonna miss out on here I'm probably gonna be walking around talking to literally everybody so uh, let's see Jeff opened the present there's a cookie inside Jeff takes it I don't know why there's so many cookies and they're just let me take them like he's level one right now unfortunately he's um, let's talk to this guy see if he's Jeff I can't believe you could do something so nasty if you're going out, stop, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell is still working hard in the lab downstairs. Anyway, these days were these days there are many dangerous animals wandering around outside. Okay. I'm gonna get the frick out of my way. I'm gonna the present. There's a cookie inside. Jeff takes it. Let me make sure I ain't screwing myself real quick. Um That's all I'm gonna take for now. Yeah, screw it. One. I'll just, I'll just go ahead and take a few more. There's a cookie inside. Jeff takes it. Oh, okay. Take another one. It's cookie inside. Jeff takes it. Ooh, okay, Jeff. Freaking little thief. There's a cookie inside. Jeff takes it. Excellent. We got all the cookies. Um, I I got a little greedy there. Um. Got a little greedy there. i am probably got no freaking room now. Could have just wait well left left well alone. No problem here. I heard a creature called Tessie lives in the southern southern lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. I heard a more interesting story than a room than the rumor about Tessie. It's about the cave boys at the Stonehenge. Many claim to have actually seen them. Okay, talk to him. Who are you talking to? I'm trying to talk to this guy. I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of Stonehenge is an entrance leading someplace. Someday we should check it out. I'm sleepy. I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, do my business, and go to bed. All right. So we got those guys out of the way. I don't know if we got to talk to them. So, so there's a rumor about Tessie. Hmm. There he may be a model. Who knows? I think this is Maxwell. Come here, Maxwell. Talk to me, baby. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father, Dr. Andunuts, were here, he'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader of our Ultra Science Club. I heard he's greater than Einstein or Heisenberg. Rumor has it it's almost... It's it. Rumor has it he's also very strange. If you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent, though. Jeff got the key to the locker. If you leave, call me and I'll record your adventure. It's like saving the game. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I think there's a way we gotta get it to where it's not bent. Um, key is bent doesn't fit in the keyhole okay there's got to be a way to fix it let's go up here to the bedroom he had a bunch of pile of tools there for a second let's see if that's how we fix it okay use use key to the locker but nothing happened someone has something let's check in here we just gotta keep talking to people until we find somebody that can f help us fix this. If you're going outside, stop by back so if you leave, it looks out for younger students. Okay. 
he doesn't do anything. It was help, though. Very helpful. I gotta find somebody that can help fix this key. Let's check outside. Might be somebody outside. I think you can get... I think you can get out over there by the gate, but you need some of the stuff to take with you. Well, how do I... Like... Jeez, oh, okay. The music. Like, I know I keep harping on the music, but... My god, it's like I'm, I'm falling more and more in love with it. The music, more and more I listen to it. There's gotta be a way... To fix it. There's gotta be a way... To fix the key. Hmm... This one is locked. This one is locked. This one is locked. This one is locked. I think they're all just gonna be locked. I mean, you never know. Maybe I could go back to the room and do something. I'm gonna try more. I don't wanna keep wandering around, though. Maybe one of these guys might have something. Okay, Tessie, okay. Maybe the other guy that I... That stole all his cookies? Jeff, I can't believe you could do something so nasty. Well, it is what it is, pal. It is what it is. Hmm. Hmm. You know, let's go back to the guy downstairs. Check with Maxwell again real quick. See if he meant to give us something else or give us a hint. Ah, oh, the key didn't work, did it? I thought that might be the case. So I just invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. <sighs> Jeff got the bad key machine. If you are, if you are Dr. Onnit's son, you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just keep, just try to keep a positive attitude. Well, I just wasted some of our time. So I'm going to pause it here and open up all this. Be right back. All right, and we're on our very last one. Um, we got a pop gun, Holmes hat, and a broken air gun with that. Uh... Unfortunately, there was nothing in this locker. I think there was... I want to say it was in this one. Or maybe that was it. Just had to make sure. Okay. I thought there was two broken air guns. So, I think that was it for here. Let's go ahead and head out. I think we should be set to go. Oh, thanks, Tony. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know when, I don't know where you're going or why, but remember, we are best friends forever. Excellent. No, Jeff's got to make it to our, our homie. Hello there, how may I help you? Let's buy, what can I get you anything? Ooh. Coin of silence, oh my god. Nope. Let's go ahead and oh wait. Going to hello, hello, Maxwell Labs here. Oh hello, Jeff. Would you like me to keep a record of your journey? Yes. Alright, there's everything written down. What do you, you need to take a break for now? No. You're such a hard worker. I've got to get back to work myself. Go for it, bad boy. Click beep beep beep. Alright. Cool. Let's talk to the monkey. Kick kick kick, yeah. Alright, never mind. We do need him, though. So keep him in mind. But I'm gonna go ahead and, um... I might have to do some grindage. This dude's got 30 HP, and I've got nothing to heal. I'm just glad I saved it there. Oof. Could you imagine? Having to do all that over again? Ugh. So with each level, um, Jeff can repair... Repair stuff, and... 
Oh god, it's gonna be one of these. He can repair stuff, like while he's sleeping, or while the party is sleeping. Oh, it's cookie. Jeff took it. Um, and sometimes you can get some very powerful weapons, or he'll make, like, a, um... He'll make, like, bottle rockets, bombs, and stuff. Only he can use, like, bazookas and stuff like that, which is very unfortunate. But let's see what's in here. The tame animals become wild. Something evil is going on. Probably Gygus, maybe? But nobody knows about Gygus but us. So why don't you rest here for a while, have something to drink, perhaps some tea? Yeah, sure, we'll do it. Jeff cannot use... He doesn't have any psychic abilities. Are you feeling much better now? Good luck. Okay, so I can grind a little bit and just keep coming back, back and forth here if I wanted to. Which I might end up doing that because this is going to be like a little... It's not going to be hard, if I remember correctly. It's not too bad. Like, they they don't have it scaled to when we were with, you know, with Paula and them. So, oh, God. I might have just uh, sealed my f a gruff goat. Oh, probably not. But I don't like... Okay, we're going to have to... I'm gonna have to eat a cookie. Okay. 7 HP. Not too bad. Let, let him attack. Go ahead and... That's just, that's, what, that's just what we're gonna have to do. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to level up some. Jeff, it looks like you got your head handed to you. I'm gonna give it another shot. Alright. Excellent. That was bound to happen. I'm not too upset about it. Jeff doesn't even use PP, so it doesn't matter. We could just get back to fighting. So let's try to avoid the old gruff goat and just um and just focus on like you know the little guys, like the little crow that steals your fucking cookies and shit. I don't like the pop gun though because it's not accurate, or maybe it's accurate with him with projectile weapons. But it's always good. Okay, cool. Jeff is now level 2. HP 2. That was it. Okay. Um, when you give Ness like a slingshot, it has a very high chance of missing. Like your accuracy sucks. That's why I always try to get the bats. Regardless if, um, regardless if they're more powerful or not. Okay, we won. It's the goats I have an issue with. Let's just keep walking. Uh, let's just try to progress the story as much as we can. So, it's going to be Jeff that's going to end up freeing them. And it's just how... And it's just another quirkiness of this game. We've been on just this wild, goofy adventure so far, you know. And it just, it, it, it gets wilder from here, you know. It, it, it always gets wilder from here. You want to throw something away? Yeah, what do you want to throw away? We're going to throw away a motherfucking cookie. It's so, it, it sucks because we, <laughs> we took this man's cookies and like for no reason i could have really done without the cookies we probably could have got something better he would have probably gave us something but i took all his cookies oh, nobody's in here i think there's tents out here because they're um i mean we'll let them explain they're better explaining than i am they're looking for something obviously i heard that the wind is always blowing when tessie appears Achoo! i feel like i'm catching a cold Alright. Tessie may unexpectedly be living in the woods. I personally think so. So they're just looking in the woods. We'll go in here. What are you doing, you buffoon? If I find Tessie, do you think I'll get in the newspaper? I'm looking for my 15 minutes of fame. Let's go ahead and call up Jeff's pal, Maxwell. There we go. Let's keep going. Keep at it. Alright, so, 
Um, let me talk to these few guys right here, and then we're gonna call it. Wow. Why, hello, I wonder if there's any monkeys around. You know, they say that Tessie is friendly with monkeys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? You're right. We're here at Lake Tess, waiting to see Tessie. We're known as the Tessie Watching Club. Oh, so, as you could tell, Tessie is a... a Loch Ness Monster. The Tessness Monster. Okay, who are you talking to? I'm talking to the dude in front of me. So, so you've been, you've also been bitten by the Tessie mania. You're in luck. We may also, we may be able to see Tessie tomorrow. I can't wait. Let's go in here. Okay, I'm the cook for the Tessie Watching Club. How about some stew? Heck yeah. Oh no, there's no need to pay me. Okay, cool. You are a friend who I have never met before. Jeff, head south. I'm Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray gun. After being fixed, the broken spray became the defense spray. So he's an inventor. Excellent. Listen to the music real quick. You know, we're going to end it here. Um, thank you for watching my Let's Play and Chill with Earthbound. I will see you on the next episode. Sorry, the music got me talking a lot. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and that'll be it. Uh, Y'all have a good night. Say goodbye.